Josh Frankham, how's life? All good, all good. Just come back from the USA. Great trip. Um, back to business now. Back well, to business. It looked like a great trip. I saw you uh, doing a bit of work with Tyson out there. I've done a little bit in Orlando with him. Um, a little bit of training. Done a little bit with Sugar Hill towards the end of my trip mm -hmm. in Miami. That was good. Great experience. And like I say, holiday over, back to business, start taking some names. <laughs> Have you got any names in mind? Are you, not are yet. You Listen, not yet. yet. Like, not yet. No. We're just uh, taking our time. But obviously, I'm, I'm going to be in the workweight division. Mm -hmm. and I know it's a stacked division in the UK at the minute. And there's a few prospects I've got my eye on. I saw the, I saw the, uh, the Boxing News um, rankings this week. Mm -hmm. There's a few above me I've got my eye on. So... We'll take it from there. Is there anyone in particular or you just want to keep it to yourself? I'm going to keep it to myself for a minute, but a um, couple of fights time, start building some things, definitely. Well, you're making all the right noises. Um, yep. Tell me about that time with Sugar Hill then. Obviously, you know, he's, he's a great <clears throat> coach and um, Tyson speaks highly of him. He's got the Kronk legacy. What was that like? That was a great experience. Um, just to be in an American gym. Mm. Total different. Like down in Miami, some of the styles there, I suppose you get a bit of Cuban influence, different South American influences, and a lot of great talent in the gym I was. I actually done a little bit with, um, he was number seven in the world, I think, the super middleweight. Okay. I think it's called Shishkin or something like okay. some name. Great fire. Not sparring, but technical sparring. And just to get that experience with, with them men is very good, especially even Sugar Hill, just being around him and learning off of him. Great experience. You do this, don't you? I've seen you collect experience like this. I was looking for your Instagram, right? Yep. I saw pictures of you running with Manny Pacquiao. Yeah. Tell me about that. That was after Tyson fought Swartz in right. Vegas, his first, yeah, first Vegas fight. Yeah, yeah. So we go down to LA. Obviously, we go to the wild card. Typical Brit tourists. Go to the wild card. He drives out. Anyway, stops. I get a photo of him. We're talking to his brother now. He goes, we're happy. We've got a little selfie with Manny Pacquiao. Anyway, his brother goes, are you guys fighters? At the time, I just, no, I wasn't pro. I was just turning. Mm -hmm. And he goes, well, we're running tomorrow in Griffith Park. Come along. So me and Levi, me and my cousin Levi, yeah, we yeah. look at each other thinking, this can't be true. Anyway, we give my number. They won't ring us. Seven o'clock the next morning, phone call. Meet us here this time, whatever. We're up buzzing. Being in mind, we've been in Vegas. We've been partying, not really been training. <laughs> so we go for this run, Griffith Park. It was about six miles all through the hill, mm -hmm. up where the Hollywood sign is. Unbelievable experience. And what a guy Manny Pacquiao was. What a legend. Um, after, went back to his house, signed our photos, signed our mm. shirts, got f more photos with us. You can't be that experience. Did you uh, ask him for any advice? Did he give you any advice? Obviously, you young fighter coming through. The only English I got out of him was that something about how he knocked out Hatton. Right. And that was it. Okay. That was it. Okay. So I thought, I'm not going to ask him no more. I'll just run with the guy and enjoy it. How many of you were there? There was me, Levi, and another one of my mates. And that was it? That so was it was quite a small group? Just No. Right. That was us. Right. There was about 10 other Filipino guys and different guys in his camp. So that was a great experience. But it was all through the Hollywood Hills, you can imagine. It was a hard, hard run, but very good. Mate, what an experience. What, really? what a life you've lived so well, far. I'm not, I'm not done too bad. If I can get that world title, we'll be, we'll be even better. Well, look, your last fight yep. was your first stoppage. Was that a bit of a relief? Yeah, because I've had a little bit of doubt. As obviously, you always go through your YouTube comments and so on. Um, is this guy going to stop anyone? Can he punch? Can he do this? And it was good to get him out of there. Listen, to me, a win is a win. However I get it, point, stoppage, as long as I win, it doesn't matter. But it was good to get the stoppage. And now we're going to roll on. I'm getting my, I find, I feel like I'm getting my man strength now. Mm. So we're going, to, um, we're going to roll on and try and get some more out of there. How old are you now? 22. 22. So are you doing anything different in training? Do you, do you just feel yourself getting stronger? I just feel myself getting stronger. Listen, you don't really fully develop as a man until you're 25, 26. Mm. So I've got a bit of a, a, bit of a while. Some of us yet. never do. Some of us never do. <laughs> Hopefully I do. Yeah. Touch wood. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just cracking along, improving. Like I said, going to different people and taking little bits from each of them, studying a lot of boxing and just trying to improve. Josh, what does it mean to be a Frankham? What does it mean to be a Frank? And my, my family, to be honest with you, we was probably the first traveller boxers, proper traveller boxers, going back years ago. Well, for instance, my Uncle John was the first proper traveller champion, British champion. And to him, is like how Tyson is to our people now, a hero back then. So for us, our family's been doing this for generations. My dad, his brothers, his two brothers, they was the first sort of 
amateurs who, who really done anything as travellers. And I think we led the way for, for boxing. Obviously, then on come John Fury and a, a lot of the... Um, who else was there? The Burtons, obviously, and a lot of boxing names. So, But I think we led the way for boxing, for travellers, and to turn over and go professional. Um, and obviously, Tyson took it on, and Billy Joe and Andy Lee, and they've all gone on and done much more. So that's what I hope to do. Do you think, like, you didn't really have much choice? You were always going to fight? To be honest, my dad didn't really want me to box. He, right. didn't, he didn't take me to the gym. I was a little tubby, like I've said many times. And I took myself to the gym. Didn't want me to box. He didn't want my brother to box. And he said, if you want to do it, you have to do it properly. Because mm -hmm. he, he wasn't a bad amateur. He good. won a couple of titles. Mm -hmm. And he knew how hard it was. Um, and that's it. He didn't want me to box. So, But I suppose for me, like you say, going back to your question, it was always going to be boxing, yes. You were drawn to the gym? I was drawn to it, yeah. Loved it. What your Watching earliest? Rockies. Yeah. Watching Rockies. Shorts on, little tubby, just throwing hooks. That's all I knew how to do. First spy I ever had was hooks. Hooks only. So I was always going to be a boxer. And here you are now. You're yeah, I am now. 4-0, 5-0? 4-0. 4-0, soon, soon to be 5-0. Soon to be 5-0. <laughs> um, and that's March the March 11th, 11th yep, coming up. Um, are you going to try anything different? Or what, 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 are you, what are you expecting from your performance March 11th? Another win, like I say. Win's always important. And I've always said this, and if you go back through all my interviews, as long as I'm improving each fight, and I'm still winning. That's the most important thing. If I keep improving and keep winning, that's all that matters to me. So um, another win, definitely on the cards, and another improvement. And I, I want to get the people talking about me, definitely. Before I let you go, and people are going to be talking about you, tell us more about your time with Tyson Fury. Just like, obviously, you saw him in Florida. You trained with him a lot. What, what, what do you think makes him different? What makes Tyson different? His art. He's got the biggest heart in boxing. You've seen that many times. And they don't make him like Tyson, to be honest with you. He's terrific. He's, he's probably, in my eyes, I think he's one of the best heavyweights to ever live. So, uh, and he's going to prove that time and time again. I think he'll go on and, and unify the division again. And then hopefully I'll see him sail out into the sunset. So to be around Tyson and just to have the privilege just to pick up the phone and say, Tyson, what do you think? What do you think about this? What would you do? Just to have that advice is unbelievable. So I can't thank Tyson enough. Do you pick up the phone to him? Do you just ask Yeah, occasionally, yeah. Most weeks I, I'll give him a little text or give him a ring, see how he is, vice versa. Um, and if everything, I, well, he was the one who told me to sign with Frank. So if ever I need anything, he's always there for me in touch with him. Thank you very much for that. So when I first turned pro, I said, who would you go with? Matter of fact, I was going to go in the senior OBAs. Mm -hmm. And he said to me, don't bother. Carry on training, carry on learning and turn pro next year. So like, no problem. Who would you go with? Don't worry about that. He said, just, just turn over and we'll, we'll go from there. So then um, the time come, I said, right, I'm going to turn over. What, what would you do? He said, I'll sort you out. I'll text Frank. That's what happened. And I went and met Frank and we signed and here we are, nearly 5-0. and up. Not looked back since. Not looked back since and I won't be until I get that British title, world title, so on, all around my waist. Josh, it's a pleasure speaking to you. It's Thank always you nice to speak to you and uh, good luck on March the 11th. Thank you very much. Cheers, mate.